Hey, get off my sister. It's my turn. She's my sister too. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Welcome back to another. Give it a shot. Where we try beers. <laughs> All right. Not just beers. We've done other things. We've done uh, canned bread. That's right. Yeah. We've done uh, more stuff. More stuff. And then uh, we're going to do other more stuff. stuff. What was that one green thing that Mark brought over? Oh, like yeah. The green leaves. It the was rice like, and green leaves. Yeah, that was like spinach, spinach, leaves like spinach stuff. Something. Grape. It was grape, grape leaves, leaves and stuff. Yeah, we did that. It was fun. I remember that. Yeah. So yeah, today we got Fremont Sister. Sister. Yep. And uh, so this one, uh, let's look at some pics. So this one is the Fremont Sister. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, I don't know much about this one as far as the alcohol by volume, but let's see what it says there. It looks like on that screen it says, oh. We are a family owned crafted brewery yep. founded yep. in 2009 to brew artesian beers. 8.5. Eight, oh shit. Yeah, this, is, this is definitely up there. Yeah. Artesian beers made with the best local ingredients. And we can find. Sister is the most impre uh, in, 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 <laughs> impregnated in, 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 in <laughs> of our imperial <laughs> series. And it is inspired by our desire to take sister everywhere. Yeah. With our own Without our sister, we would have never learned the fine points of emotional warfare. That's or right. the arts of huffy and puffy. <laughs> what was that? Are you serious? <laughs> huffy and, and puffy. And puffy. <laughs> or Snyder. Or was that? Snidey? Snide? Snide? Remarking? <laughs> I'm going to get back to my how long to carry a grudge or the true meaning of loyalty when one of us is hurt. Yeah. This sister is fitfully bitter with a little sweet, but she will always be there for you because sisters matter. That's right. Never <laughs> leave angry sisters comb. Yeah, what? Never let an angry sister comb her hair. Is that VWP? Because <laughs> oh, you're going to mess it up. Yeah. <laughs> can't take this fucking wild anymore. Piece of shit. <laughs> uh, down and dirty. Visit <laughs> FremontBrewery.com for the current sister ingredients list. Yeah. So I don't think we have that ingredients list. But no. You can go there and check it out. Yeah. So this is pretty strong beer. So this this, this is up there. This, what did I say? 8.5? Uh, 8. Yeah. Dang. It's up there. Dang. We already had a... High one last week. That was totally last week when yeah. we drank that. Totally last but week. But that was what six point four. Yeah. With, uh, the white uh, white stout. Yeah, it was white stout. Yeah. Amazing. So, we gotta check that one out. That was, was live on it Facebook. Was, it was delish. So Maybe. we got a new way that, that we got a new we got a new thing. <laughs> this somehow opens beer bottles. beer bottles yeah. by just smacking. You want to want to do some? You want me to do it? Smackage. Here we go. Right over here. Yeah. You ready? Here we go. Here. Smack it. Yeah. Do it. <gasps> and it's magnetic, so it holds the cap. How ingenious is that? Magic. And it leaves the cap perfectly intact. It's Why wouldn't you want to buy one of these? It's magic. Yeah. What'd you get? Like three of them for twenty bucks or seven? Yeah, it was super cheap. Yeah, I got three of them bucks. for like almost nothing. Yeah. So really cool. Really yeah, cool. Pretty bad ass. Learned that from yeah. uh, who are they? The all kinds of beer guys uh, have yeah. uh, them things that. Uh, what was that oh. one with the uh, Scottish? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Scottish guy. Are you having leather, that leather jacket? Yeah, Le le leather jacket guy. Yeah, Are you having jacket. that? Yeah, <laughs> that's where we first saw this from. It's pretty cool. Yeah. All right, let's pour some beers. Do you... I'll right. just point at it while you're doing it. Okay. <laughs> some 8.5 percent alcohol by volume right there for you. Oh, oh that is nice and. Blondish, mm. holy crap! A lot. Okay. A lot of head there. Yeah, lovely. It's good. Very lovely. Nice and clear. Yep. Clear-ish. There is a little bit of a probably maybe a chill haze. I don't know, but it's it's pretty clear. It is pretty clear, but at the same time, I can tell oh. with all them bubbles that the carbonation is crazy. So that's yeah. probably stopping some of the, the the visuals there, which helps the smell too. It's like yeah, 
pretty awesome. This thing smells amazing. Man. So That's that an IPA. Citrusy. Oh, wow. This, it, I mean, it hits your nose like, yeah. bang. Free coastal wow. range water. Yeah. You know? Or it's got free a caged water or something like that. I, I get some dank though. Do you get any that's dank? the dank. Yeah, yeah, that's uh the free coastal water right there. <laughs> is the water they take from the river that's not has not been caged yet, a, a and they put it dank. inside their gym sock and they hold it there for a week. <laughs> and then they pour that water into the, the thing to, to make it. So it makes me think that the the the, the hops that they're using are um, some different hops that we normally because it doesn't smell so maybe a little piney. Mm -hmm. A little floral, but the smell a lot of zest. Maybe yes. orange zest yeah, or uh, lemon yeah. zest or something. That's a good call. I smell a lot of zest. But there, there's a kind of dank that comes through, like a the, the, uh, yeah, the water is dank. Mm -hmm. Gem sock dank. But not so much like the, um, mm. uh, like farmhouse ale. Not, no, not no. that. But it does. That one's more of like a. That's a different dank. Skunk yeah, yeah. Dank. This has so this one's more of. This like has a, a cellar dank sailor. smell. Yeah, there you yeah, go. like a cellar, a cellar dank. Cellar. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that smells. That smells like it's gonna be I, I, delicious. I, I, delicious, <laughs> but at the same time, I feel like it's gonna be some tartness and some bitter. Ah. But I think it's gonna be taste good. It's good. Yeah. But I just know that it's there, so my taste buds are getting like ready. Yeah. What do you think? Let's do it. Ready? Yeah. All right. Let's do it. Down the hola. I mean, yeah, no, not yet. Not yet. Yeah. Let's give it a shot. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just ready to down it. <laughs> I just want to put it in mouth. <laughs> I'm ready. Let's do this. <laughs> oh, a little bit of a tart. Yeah, but smoother than I anticipated. Yeah. yeah. Oh, man. Well, it's very good. clean. It's a uh, very thin mouthfeel, light mouthfeel. Not very thick at all. I it mean, doesn't, maybe, it doesn't taste dank. Yeah, light to medium mouthfeel, but it doesn't taste dank. Yeah, I was expecting has a bit kind of, of a dank smell, but bit of a taste mm -hmm. has a bit of bite to it. Yeah. Oh yeah. Bite, but not like bite because it's like, like like like, like you said, like, like yeah, a little bit of an IPA bite, mm -hmm. a little bit of like a um, an orange zest bite, like yes. a little little tang, yeah. like something that hits you. Yep. Yeah. Hmm. Mm. Being as high in alcohol as it is, yeah, I wouldn't know. I mean, a little bit of alcohol tang at the end. I would, yeah. But it's very small, very yeah. subtle, very, 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 just a little yeah. bit, just a little bit on that. Yeah, I would definitely uh, get thrown off by it. It's kind of like the uh, not your father's root beer because that one's pretty high. I think that's like yeah. six point something. Oh yeah, that's scary. That and you don't taste and nothing. And you don't. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it is a slight hit of mm -hmm. like al like liquor, or, uh, liquor alcohol taste to it, right. or whatever. But uh, yeah, it's so smooth and so easy to drink that yep. it's dangerous. It is. It's very. Those things can be very, very, very dangerous. Yeah. But this one is. Uh, it's a, this one gives you a little bit of an idea that you're that you're that there's there. Mm -hmm. um, so it's like okay, I should be careful. I can't drink like a, a bunch of these. But it's so smooth. It's being. A, is this an imperial? It is. Oh, is that why? It's an imperial wow. India pale. Okay. That's why. That's wise. That's wise. It's uh, eight point five. Actually. I think this is the most mild, mildest Imperial IPA I've ever oh, should drink. Yeah, I agree. So this tastes nothing like some of those other ones we had. Yeah. Let's try this pretzel with time? a pretzel because we have a theory that having one of our drinks with a, a pretzel has an effect on the taste buds that might let you taste some more stuff. Ooh. Sometimes it it really does. Uh huh. Sometimes it doesn't though. And sometimes it's for the worse. Yeah. It's like oh. Really? Why did I now, just eat that pretzel? This tastes. This Let's tastes worse. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh, so good. Mm. I haven't eaten anything yet today. <laughs> I dinner, had some toast. Dinner and oh. beer. Yes, <laughs> dinner, dinner and beer. <laughs> what should we say? Yeah, it's close to dinner. What time is it? It is three thirty. Yep. Or three twenty-three. But uh, some people are just now getting off work. No, dinner time's average like like five o'clock. Mm. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Mmm. Nice salt on that pretzel. This mm. is gonna taste yeah. really good. That was good. Mm -hmm. And these are fresh. <laughs> yeah, they're not the old ones like last time. Yeah, no, time. they're nice and fresh pretzels. Okay. okay, now let's see if the pretzel enhanced anything. Maybe more zesty. Maybe we taste some different hops now. Who knows? Go for it. Let's find out. Yeah. 
I get more of a fruity taste. Uh, almost yeah. a, almost like a, yeah. a softer orange taste rather yeah. than the zest of it. Yeah. 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 That's pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> it's um it didn't definitely that. Yeah, it definitely brings out the um fruitiness uh -huh. of it. A little bit yeah. more tropical. Yeah. That's what Pacific Northwest beers are about too. It's all about the citrusy oh, grapefruit. Yeah. They're, they're so good at getting that, that the tropicalness mm -hmm. out of a beer. Mm -hmm. Because we wish we were in a tropical spot of the of the mm -hmm. globe. <laughs> so close. We're not. <laughs> Beautiful trees and whatnot. Yeah. yeah. Beaches. It's just a couple. There's <laughs> not much tropical about where we live. No. That is so much different. Mm. So much different. It is. Uh, would you prefer it with or without the pretzel? I think I enjoyed having this with the, with the pretzel. Yeah. Because um, uh, be, be getting started is like, wow, okay, I know what's in there. Now I really get the idea of what's in there. And then the pretzel, like, okay, kind of brings it back to home. So that's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. I kind of like that. I agree. Yeah. I think I like it more with the pretzel mm -hmm. than without. Yeah. I think true. it enhances the flavors that are actually in mm -hmm. the hops. Yeah. So that was fun. Mm -hmm. That was kind of good. So now, so. Oh, shit. Now we got to bitch all it. Mm -hmm. Or, no. I'm going to go more pretzel down the. Mm -hmm. how, how do you do that? Well, we're. Down the. Bitchola. Yeah, down, down the hola. Down the hola. <laughs> Down, down the hole. Yep, down the hole. So we also have a, a theory that a whole bunch of this beer over our taste buds at once. One time. Does a new effect on the taste buds. Mm -hmm. And we taste something even different. Yep. So the pretzel was one thing, but now a whole bunch of beer might and it's, it's weird because sometimes mm -hmm. A beer tastes different because you're slamming it. Yeah. I have a theory on that. I think with the pretzel, <laughs> we're going to taste more of the hops that are inside the beer. It's when you slam it? Pouring out all the, all the, no, no. When we just eat the pretzel oh, okay. and we drink the beer, mm -hmm. more of the hops come out. And you mm -hmm. taste more of the hops, more of the flavors in it. Hence, we can actually take a, taste a lot more <laughs> tropical out of this than we did beforehand mm -hmm. with the fruits. When we down it, it bypasses all those hops and all we taste is the, 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 uh, the, the, Barley, salt, barley, yeah, yeah. Uh, the, the, the grains the, and stuff like yeah. that that are in there. Yeah, yep. uh, so we taste more of that, less of the the actual hops, and we get two different kinds of taste out of it. Yeah, I think you might be right on that. Yeah, that's pretty good assumption. Yeah, <coughs> it, it's a theory. Sorry. Coughing from the coronavirus. Yeah. yeah. All right. It's everywhere. <laughs> no, I got it. You son of a bitch. <laughs> you got no. it. Not yet. So far, we're safe. Or. So far, we have yeah. uh, an abundance of, of uh, rubbing alcohol, um, all kinds of sandy wipes, and uh, you know, what are the, all kind. Yeah, all, what are those Clean wipes stuff. for the kitchen? Lysol, yeah, all Lysol. that kind of stuff with um, wipes and it, stuff. That's stuff we've had beforehand. Oh man! So it, hopefully, um, yeah. it you, pays we, living with a germ freak. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. So, so let's see what a whole bunch of this over our taste buds. Well, that's it a, tastes like that's a lot, but it, it's, it's kind of a high in <laughs> alcohol. But you know, okay. it tastes good. It probably will yeah. be worth it, yeah. and I probably won't have to drink until like yeah. the day after tomorrow. I don't have to work until tomorrow, <laughs> so I'm fine. <laughs> I can totally do this right now. <laughs> yeah. so. It's it's mid after yeah <clears throat> mid afternoon yeah All right down the hola bitch hola <clears throat> thanks for watching. Yeah. Bitterness gone. A little bit of the fruitiness. Yeah, fruity and floral. A little bit. I got I got, I got the floral from hops. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, some of the fruity, yeah, more more of the uh, mm. kind of an orange taste. It's weird. Mang mm. Not so much mango, like a like a like a bitter orange. Kind of yeah. like a bitter zest. Orange. Yeah, zest like orange. orange with a little bit of zest to it. Yeah. That was really tasty. Yeah. It tastes good. Actually, it looked damn good. Yeah. Uh, I would say that it's not necessary to I have had idea. slammed it. It's not necessary. Uh, no. It's no. okay. No. That's fine. Um, but you could get this. Mm -hmm. We didn't really notice that much different from just taking some sips after having a bite of a pretzel, maybe? Yeah. So. I, I don't think it kills the bitterness as much because after the fact, like right now, it's still building up. It's still in there. It's still acquiring. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't help with that. I, I think just drinking it normally, you're, you're good to go. Mm -hmm. It's a really nice, smooth, yeah. imperial IPA. Yeah. Yeah. I like 
my sister. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's a very tasty beer. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, with this, I'm going to have to give it a thumbs up. Yay! <laughs> um, it's a good beer. I enjoyed it. Very few Imperial uh, IPAs I've drinking, the double IPAs, that I've actually enjoyed. Voodoo Ranger being one of them. Oh, um, man, that's a good one. There's another one I can't recall. But this one is actually quite tasty, and it's actually very deceiving. It doesn't... If I was to drink it without knowing what it was, I would not call this a double IPA. Oh, yeah. I, it double? It's like, I, I was unaware that it was an Imperial. Yeah. It's like... Wow. I mean, so, I, I didn't see that when I was taking pictures of yeah. it. Yeah. I mean, Man. I guess when I was reading it, I sh it should have, like, shit. Because I saw it here. Yeah. Imperial Series. It should have told me right yeah. there, but yeah, in one really, ear out the other. Really, really good. Yeah. But I give it a thumbs up. Thumbs up. Uh, like meter is probably a 6.5. Well, so. That's pretty nice. Yeah. It's that's, up there. It's, it's above that's, average. That's above average. Yeah. Big time. Pretty decent beer. Because we're, we're, we're not big on our. I guess for average beer drinking, no, for taste-wise and all that kind of stuff, that's what we do this for. Mm -hmm. But what we really just want to sit back and drink is something that tastes good. It's not going to kick our ass every single time. Yeah. So this would be. That being said, this would be one glass. We're a just day. we're letting you yeah, know this it. is a strong beer. Yeah. And so to our us. like meter might be different just because what are we going to sit down and, and drink before we, you know. Constantly. We watch some TV and yeah. you know sit back and I don't want to be like I want to still be uh, uh, coherent while I watch mm -hmm. the uh, Picard before mm -hmm. I go to bed. <laughs> you know, so there's some beers out there that <laughs> are that are like um, I don't know five percent, four point nine that are my high listing oh, beers yeah. because yeah. I could just keep drinking that all day long. And that's a good point because sometimes we like out the beers of my mind because of how they be taste. Happy and what, right. yeah, and how they, they taste. They taste good and uh, they're not going to yeah. kick our ass. Uh, one being other, the uh, Guinness Black Lager. Please bring that back out. Oh, uh, very tasty beer. beer. I, I can't beer. remember the uh, mm. alcohol by volume, but I don't believe it was very high. I don't think it was very very high, but it was a very tasty beer. Yeah, it was it was really really up there. It was really, really good. So, so the the one thing is, is yeah, you're, you're right. Uh, we choose some of our beers because of how they taste, and we also like beers for how strong they are. Yeah. Sometimes we do. We, we respect that. them. Yeah, because that 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 that's an amazing beer. That's yeah. Really awesome. Yeah. And uh, so, no points taken away because it's no. strong. No. Uh, no. But but our like meter is like a different thing. So we yeah. might thumbs up. Totally thumbs up for me. Mm -hmm. And my like meter is about uh, I'd say it's about a six. Closer to a seven. I really liked yeah. it. So, so six point nine, right, right yeah, up there. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah. I really like the taste of it, and I like what it does. Um, and I'm gonna keep that in mind. It's like, man, I want a, a strong beer because maybe it's a weird day, and I want to get started with something strong, and finish off with light beers, or I start with light beers, and I'm gonna end my night with something, something that's strong. gonna put me to bed. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, that's a good because sometimes that's the best way to go too. Because you do your day through light beers. So all day you're doing nothing but light beers. But when it's time for bed, it's like, I feel okay. Yeah. I feel kind of like, I know I should not drive, but I want to end the night. I, I want to end the night. I want to end the night. I'm going to end it all. Right. This is it. So one glass of my that. My sister. Yeah, his sister. One glass of that. And you are like, it's nap time. That's you, know? right. you just go down, you lay down, and you go to bed. Unfortunately, you're going to get really shitty sleep. Because, yes, probably. Yeah. Whenever I get drunk and sleep, it's the worst sleep. Yeah, sometimes it's uh, the sleep I, you know, there's a whole lot of going, getting up to go to the bathroom is what yeah. happens. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. It's like, I could be, no, I could be asleep. I could be passed out for like eight hours. <laughs> right? I was like, that's great sleep. But no, I was drunk when it happened. Yeah. And so when I wake up, I actually feel more tired. Then when I how went about to that bed. First, how about that first time you got to take a whiz? It is like, oh, you're like, stumbling. It's like ten minutes later, you're finally done whizzing. It's like, oh my god, wow, no. so that's a, awesome. There's a record. So that's beer talk for you. I should have, I should have timed this. <coughs> Fuck. Yeah. Giving it to Guinness Books. I wonder what the Guinness Books world record <laughs> longest pee is. Oh, that that'd be an amazing. Yeah. Are you gonna look it up right I'm now? I'm gonna look it up. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Guinness Book of World Records longest pee. Longest hair, longest kiss, longest poop, longest turd. <laughs> I kind of want to know those oh, two. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that longest <laughs> pee. <laughs> 508 seconds. 
So ask Siri, how many minutes is 508 seconds? I got it. 508 divided by 60 is eight minutes. <laughs> 8.46 minutes. <laughs> That's what I said. Eight it's and like, a half minutes. Like, wouldn't it be amazing? A 10 minute pee is like, yeah, so the longest is eight minutes. So that's eight a Eight and a half minutes. Can you wow. imagine <laughs> standing there? God. Or I guess sitting there wouldn't be so bad. But as a guy, just stand, especially drunk off your ass, like, oh, God. Swaying back and forth yeah. on this tree. I'm totally trying to make it in the toilet. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, uh, the camera's over there. I'm totally trying to make it in the corner in the yeah. toilet. Well, I forgot. Yeah, we got this camera. Yeah, we're over there. We're all looking over there. We can go over here. There we go. We I'm totally trying to make it out of the toilet. Oh, we can go over here. Hey, I don't know where I am anymore. <laughs> Did somebody pee in my closet? <laughs> no. <laughs> That's shenanigans. That's shenanigans. You don't know what you're talking about. It's uh, the world's longest. I've been here for like 15 minutes. <laughs> Who, where's my timer at? I can keep going for hours. So. <laughs> More beer, more pee. I can be here for a while. Just keep, keep filling me keep up. The, <laughs> keep the beer coming. <laughs> oh, we're, we're going for the Guinness. <laughs> we're, bring me more beer. Yeah. We're Henry's. Dude, we're already, be better. We're we're already at 30 minutes. You're well past it. You made it. He's like, just I know. keep it going. But this kind of feels yeah. good. <laughs> bring me yeah, beer. I, just keep going. I want to keep this record for a very long time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, that's all we got for this. Give it a shot. If you yeah. hung around this long, then you're awesome. Yep. Uh, we Thanks also got much. some. Uh, check out the links below because you can buy some T-shirts. You can buy some. Some. Uh, hey, go to the Cafe Press. You can get mixed in coffee mugs. Mm -hmm. You can get Kip mixed in all kinds of stuff. Like, can you still get stuff for your phone there? So there's stuff for your phone. Possibly. If you go to uh, Teespring's. Teesprings. Teesprings, you can get uh, hey, shirts. Yeah, uh, we got the new one because we do a podcast. There's the GDMF podcast shirt. I just bought one. It's in the mail. You oh, really? Know? Yeah, yeah. The first one's gonna uh, be yeah. going to me. I meant to buy one. Yeah, it's, it's coming. So that, get get that. But there's the cool hoodie that says mixed in right here. It's awesome. So ghost diagnosed. Says mixed in on the back. Yeah, yeah ghost diagnosed because diagnosed. we're doing ghost hunting. Get so some yeah, there's, there's some merch there that's awesome to wear. Helps mm -hmm. us out. Get that and yeah. That's all we got for now, and we'll see you next time. Ladder. Let's drink a mountain. Yep. All right. You guys have a good one. See you next time. Yep. Do it. Yep.